Hi, hello, and howdy. My name is Erin of Essentially Erin, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited because we are setting aside all of the tutorials and tips and tricks, and we are talking about a few of my favorite things. That's right, we are going over my top absolute favorite curly hair products. Now, my usual disclaimer, as a lot of you maybe know and are probably tired of hearing, I do not follow the strict curly girl method. Therefore, some of the tools that I'm going to recommend today are not curly girl method friendly. However, they have been crucial to my curly hair journey. So yeah, don't get mad at me. If you are new to the curly hair journey or the natural hair journey, then it's probably been a little overwhelming because if you've gone on social media or Pinterest, you've probably seen somebody recommending a different tool, product, or something that's going to give you these amazing results overnight. I hate to break it to you, that's never gonna happen. Literally, there is nothing that's going to repair or fix or make your hair amazing in one use. However, there are some things that with repeated use, or adding them to your current routine that will help to consistently improve your wash days and help retain good styles and good curls for longer periods of time. Now, as far as all the products that I'm going to share today and link below, I have tried to include products that come from a multitude of price ranges because as I talk about in my Curl Community College videos, I truly believe that this is an education that everyone can afford. This is not something that you have to invest a ton of money and buy the latest and greatest, most amazing, most expensive products. There are things that are going to be worth more money, but that doesn't mean that you can't achieve similar results with something that's a little bit less expensive. Now, for my second disclaimer, I am not a curly hair stylist or specialist. I am purely speaking about my personal experience with my 3A, 3B curls. It may or may not work for you, but it does work for me. So now that we've got all that fancy legal jargon out of the way, let's jump in. Now, the first product that I absolutely cannot live without is a microfiber towel. A microfiber towel is really important in the styling process because it helps absorb any of the remaining moisture in your hair after or before you've styled it without causing any frizz or friction. I personally have been using the Rizos Hair Care Hair Wrap. I've been using it for a few years now and I love it because it allows me to dry my hair using the microfiber towel, but it also allows me to plop by being able to wrap it and pile it on top of my head while I'm styling so that I don't lose any volume while it's drying. I have and still on occasion use my Diva Curl microfiber towel, which is also a great product. However, I just like the ease of being able to pile my hair on top of my head while it dries. Next, we're going to talk about something that is definitely not curly girl friendly, brushes. Now, a brush can be used for a multitude of things, but the biggest ones are gonna be detangling and styling. Now, the biggest thing is to know that in a lot of instances, these are not the same brushes. Let me repeat that, in most cases, these are not the same brushes. Please stop detangling your hair with the Denman brush. I see a lot of people use the D3 or the D9 to detangle their hair. It is not meant for that. There is too much rigidity on this brush that you'll actually end up causing a lot more breakage than you're trying to detangle out of your hair. When you detangle your hair, you're going to want something like this that is a lot more flexible. The bristles move quite a bit or something like this something that actually will move with your hair as you're detangling it instead of fighting against it, which is what causes breaks and tears. There are a few brushes that are dual detangling and styling. The one that I just showed you, the Curl Keeper brush is definitely one of them. The rigidity of this outside edge is what will, as you turn it, give you curl clumps, which is what helps with the styling. I also just recently did a review of my experience with the Be Hairful brush. This is also a great brush for detangling and styling because the bristles, the, I don't know if you guys can see it, these bristles that are down here allow for a lot of a smoother process when it comes to detangling, especially dry detangling, but there is still a little bit of flexibility in these bristles as well, and that hard edge is what helps with styling. My Denwin will always be my love. It will be tried and true, but again, it is not for detangling. Next is something that I have. I have two of them because they bring me that much joy. It's a scalp massager. So I have this fun little dewberry. I use this in the shower whenever I'm shampooing or clarifying. You can also use it when you co-wash, but I don't really feel the need to because I usually don't have enough buildup on my scalp to require it. However, when I started integrating this into my wash day routines, holy cow. I thought my hair was clean before, but oh my goodness, 
this takes things to a whole new level. The other one that I have is an electronic one that is battery operated. I use this as part of my nighttime routine. If you've seen my sleep video, then you know I put a couple of drops of oil on the edge. I turn it on and I massage my scalp. This helps stimulate hair growth and the oil also helps with hair health and moisturizing. Now, if you've watched any of my styling videos, then you know something that I never style without is a water or a flare cell bottle. I love these because the way that the pump action works means that when you click it, it keeps spraying which is amazing. I got this off of Amazon. There are a ton of other ones out there. I don't like just a general spray bottle because I feel like it's a very concentrated jet of water that you get coming out of your hair. Whereas this mists it and it gives you a lot more bang for your buck. Like I said, you press it once and it just keeps spraying. You're able to cover more hair with that mist and it doesn't oversaturate your curls. I know I talked a lot about these in my how to sleep with curls video, but something that I will never be left without is a bonnet or a satin or silk scarf. These things are very, very crucial to me. They help reduce breakage and retain volume, which makes your last wash day last for so much longer. I love my bonnet. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know her name is Bernadette. She is a crucial part of my life. It is very important to have your hair protected while you sleep, whether that be with a bonnet, a silk or satin scarf, a satin or silk pillowcase. It doesn't matter. What you're trying to reduce is any friction that can occur on your head while you're sleeping. If you're like me, you probably move a lot in your sleep. That can add to breakage, knots, really bad hair days the next day. And it also means that your wash days will probably come a lot sooner because you're having to fix your hair or add more product more often, which adds a lot more buildup to the hair. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've been talking a lot about the slip silk turban, which functions exactly like the bonnet. This did not work for me personally. However, I know a lot of people that swear by it. I just have a really sensitive like inner tragus ear area to where any like residual pressure on that really causes a lot of pain. So I wasn't able to sleep with this one and I'll be returning it. However, I am still gonna link it below because I know a lot of curlies absolutely love theirs. Now that we're on the silk slash satin train, I'm also going to talk about silk or satin scrunchies. These are by far my most used and probably my most inexpensive purchase when it comes to my curly hair. I use these whether it be to pineapple my hair, if I'm doing braids, if I'm doing space buns, it doesn't matter. Anytime that I put a hair tie on my hair, I try really, really hard to use a satin or a silk scrunchie because when you're removing it, it doesn't pull your hair. So it doesn't stretch or elongate your curls. It doesn't cause any breakage or snap the hair follicles. It's important to try to use as many smooth textures as possible on your hair. Another thing that you guys have probably seen me use in my styling videos are alligator clips. So there are two different types of clips that I love to use, alligator clips and root clips. Root clips are really great for volume by pinching at the root of the hair when it's air drying or when you're diffusing. Sidebar, if you're diffusing with them in your hair, be mindful, they are metal, they do heat up. Speaking from experience, just be careful. However, with the alligator clips, they're great for sectioning your hair off while styling, pinning it on top of your head. It's got this really great kind of action up here so it helps keep the hair in place without tangling or knotting it. And they just look like cute little alligators. And last but not least, this is my most expensive item. However, I am linking some significantly cheaper options below that I also loved and used for a very long time before I got this. But if you know me, then you know how much I love my Dyson hair dryer. But seriously, a good hair dryer with a good diffuser for me has been absolutely crucial to this journey. When you look for a hair dryer or a diffuser, you want something with a lot of air holes and air pockets that are going to increase airflow through your hair. You want it to not be a concentrated blast by having just that part of the hair dryer blowing on your head. I love the magnets. By having something that's a lot more open as well as wide, you're able to cover a lot more of your hair while still increasing volume through movement of the hair. I have this. I've also used the Black Orchid one that I know a lot of curlies love. The Curly Co Collapsible is something that I actually never travel without. It's fantastic. It fits on most hotel room hair dryers. And I also have the Diva Curl Creepy Funky Little Hand Hair Dryer, which is great for scrunching into hair. So that's it. Those are my top 
essential curly hair products that I am absolutely loving on right now. If you have one that I didn't mention, please leave a comment below. I love trying new products. It does get expensive. However, I love experimenting and figure out things that are gonna work better for my hair. Also be sure to like and subscribe. You can even turn on the little notifications so that you get notified every time I have a new video that comes out. And I know I've said it before, but at the end of the day, these are all just tools. Like this is, this is nothing. All they're here to do is enhance the natural beauty of your curls as they are. Don't think of them as essential because you can have beautiful hair without them. These are just tools that I use to help enhance my curls and give me longer lasting curls in between wash days. But a tool is just a tool. All that matters is that you're essentially being yourself.